Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. Last week we were looking at the giants of the zoo, the sauropods. This week we are taking a look at a much smaller dinosaur, and one that is very much misunderstood, the Oviraptor. The Oviraptor was named by Henry Fairfield Osborne in 1924, and its name means egg thief, and was based on the position of the fossil when it was discovered. The fossil was found next to a clutch of eggs. These eggs were first thought to belong to the Ceratopsian Protoceratops. The Oviraptor had a crushed skull, and it was speculated that it had been trampled by a parent Protoceratops while trying to steal the eggs. In his 1924 paper, Osborne explained that the name was given due to the close proximity of the skull of the Oviraptor to the nest. It was separated from the eggs by only 4 inches or 10 centimetres of sand. However, Osborne also suggested that the name Oviraptor may entirely mislead us as to its feeding habits and belie its character. It looks like he was right. In 1993, a study on the eggs by Mark Norrell discovered the presence of an Oviraptor embryo. This revealed that the Oviraptor was brooding its own eggs and not attempting to steal the others. For a dinosaur that is so well known with the general public, it is known from this one specimen. With a crushed skull, it's also limited in what we can learn from it. Luckily, a very similar Oviraptorid called Citopati is more abundant and has allowed researchers to get a better idea of the Oviraptor's reconstruction. It was about 8 feet long, that's about 2.4 metres, and weighed about 75 pounds, that's around 34 kilos. The Oviraptor was one of the most bird-like of the theropod dinosaurs, particularly its ribs which were stiff like birds. It almost certainly had a covering of feathers all over its body, something that is missing from the reconstruction here in Ark. Incredibly, a fossil of Citopati had been discovered in a brooding posture over a nest. It has its arms spread over the eggs, and it's thought that this and other Oviraptorids relied upon their covering of feathers to smother their eggs like an insulating blanket, using their arms to increase the area of coverage. This is quite a specialised method of brooding that reinforces the link between birds and dinosaurs. The Oviraptor is often depicted with a crest on its head. However, since the only known skull was crushed, it is not possible to tell exactly how it looked, or even if it had one at all. It is likely that it did have a crest, as it is a common feature in other Oviraptorids. Another reason it was thought to eat eggs was because of the Oviraptor's beak. It was thought that it would be good for piercing and breaking eggshells. Usually, a dinosaur's diet can be worked out by looking at its teeth. The Oviraptor has no teeth, only the beak, so it could have eaten meat, insects, plants, or a combination of both. One clue was the remains of a lizard found in the stomach, indicating the Oviraptor was at least partially carnivorous. It's also been speculated that it could have used its beak to break the shells of clams and other mollusks that were common in the Cretaceous Mongolia where the Oviraptor lived. Well, that's all I have for you this week. I hope you've enjoyed the video and you've learned something new. If you did, please let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. And I hope to see you next time here at Shredder Zoo when we'll be taking a look at the Fiomia. Goodbye.